Hi, I'm Brian from Atomic Moto, and I'm here to review of something that's actually not very motorcycle related. Uh, not for most people, at least, it is for me. Uh, this is a new toy that I have, and I'm really excited about it, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. It is a Makita XCU 03 14 inch 36 volt cordless electric chainsaw. Now, I got this uh, to use for many different things. But um, here in Central Oregon, we get a lot of blowdown in the early season, and so we needed to do trail work. There's a couple of clubs and orgs that I work with, and we go out on trail work days in the early season, and I wanted to have a saw that I could use. And uh, I have enough motorcycles, so I don't need to do more maintenance on more gasoline engines, so I really liked this. I like the concept, I like the lack of maintenance, and actually the performance of it is quite good. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation of this new toy of mine. Let me give you the specs on this. Now, as you see it here complete, it's about 11.44 pounds. If the batteries are out of it, that drops it down to about 8.75. You see the batteries just basically slide in with a nice positive click. And uh, the batteries themselves are about a pound and 1.3 pounds, and I think 2.75-ish. For the total of them, so again, the total weight of the saw is about uh, about 11 and a half pounds. Pretty normal compared to a gasoline engine. It's got a couple things that are really neat about it. Uh, one of them is this here, which is a toolless chain tensioning adjustment. It's a clever system. You just flip this lever up; it locks in place. You flip this lever up, adjust the chain as you need, drop it back down, and then nice and positively it clicks into place. That facilitates um, some convenience for me because some of the time I may carry this in a backpack uh, and so I can actually very quickly take the bar and the chain off and carry that separately and, and fit it in a pack. Um, and then if I want to put it on when I'm ready to cut, I can do that. Uh, oil is um, self-oiling, of course, in the oil. Uh, tank is in here and it oils by, um, by gravity. To fire up the saw, there's a power button here. You just hit it and when it's green, it'll run. Now it comes with two batteries. They're five amp hour batteries, which is the strongest one that comes from it. They sell lots of batteries with this profile, but the five amp hour, um, which this uses two of, is, is their um, most powerful. And it comes with a big ass charger, which you can see right here. Uh, and it takes about 45 minutes to charge the batteries uh, the first time and 30 to 45 minutes to charge them after that. Now, I had mentioned earlier that this came with uh, a, a bundle and it came with this angle grinder. That is one of the, uh, actually this is a good time for me to segue into the advantages of a, of a lithium ion cordless electric chainsaw because there's gonna be a lot of people in the comment section that are gonna be bitching about it because it's not gas. But this is one of the best things about one of these saws is you can buy the tool and get a couple of the batteries and then you're a part of the Makita ecosystem. So that means if I want a Makita drill, a Makita impact gun, a Makita trimmer, a Makita blower, a Makita grinder, any Makita tool at all, I have, um, I have a couple batteries and I can usually buy the tool without the batteries and uh, save quite a bit of money. Like if I wanted to buy this saw by itself without the batteries, it's about 100 to $120 less. And so I see myself uh, getting an extra set of batteries, I'm going to have four, but then buying out other Makita tools and um, being able to buy them bare without the batteries and saving quite a bit of money. We wanted to make some cuts with this. And a friend of mine has a rental property and he had to go and do some limbing and some maintenance out there in the middle of the day. And that's the perfect situation to try the saw out. Can't make a lot of noise, need a lot of convenience, putting the saw down, talking to tenants, that kind of thing. We did a lot of little limbing cuts with it. It's nice and quiet, that's a good thing. And then we did cut this one, um, this one limb off that was a bigger size. And um, juniper is a, a fairly hard wood. Um, certainly harder than the pine that we have around here, and this thing just ripped right through it.
We also brought along a couple of logs to test. This is a piece of pine here. Um, it's about half dry, and uh, it's about eight and a half inches, just shy of eight and a half inches in diameter, and the saw just ripped right through it. Uh, as I said earlier, it's impossible to, um, to have a discussion about this without wading into the gas versus the electric debate. And um, to my way of thinking, people uh, get way too worked up about it and really misunderstand it, don't take the proper point of view. Uh, this isn't something for someone who is a logger. It's, um, it's for a home user or for a more convenience-oriented user such as myself. Uh, it doesn't have the runtime or, um, or the, the all-out usability that a gas saw has. What it has is convenience and simplicity. And um, people miss that. You know, there's five stages of consumer acceptance. There's innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority, stragglers. And um, depending upon who you are in, that, in those five stages uh, is where you're going to accept these. Some people aren't going to ever accept them, and some people aren't going to accept them until they're all around them, and some people are going to embrace them early. I'm kind of conservative in that regard, but this has a lot of things uh, that I really liked about it. I have a lot of uh, cordless tools, and I don't want another gasoline engine to maintain. And this is going to work really well for me. As far as the performance of it, it's actually, there's some people, other videos out there that I was looking at before I filmed this one. Uh, the, the performance of it, as far as just doing a few cuts, it's quite fast. It's quite strong. Again, as I mentioned, electric motors um, have uh, maximum torque right from idle. A gasoline engine doesn't. And they have plenty of power. So, so the power capabilities, is, though, this is great. Uh, and it's also a Makita, and uh, it probably won't last as long. You know, it's, it's not going to be like your 30-year-old McCullough. But, but it is a good, solid, well-built tool from a very reputable company. They do a great job. So, so everything I described uh, resonates with you. You're, you know, you're not a hardcore logger, you're more of a noob like me. Then um, these have tremendous power, convenience, capability. And um, they have some, some advantages, like being part of the the Makita fact, uh, family for, um, for other tools like I, I have here. Um, that's a really good uh, way to view this. It's not exactly the same as a gasoline powered chainsaw. It's a slightly different take on it and it works very well for some people and I think that I am one of those. And so I hope it's been, been um, interesting to you. I hope it's been beneficial. Uh, as always, we are Atomic Moto, www.atomic-moto.com. We are a company that does mostly motorcycle gear reviews. Um, this is outside of that norm, but I just like it so much, and so I wanted to shoot a quick video of it. And thanks for checking it out.